Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Pools of Darkness. Once again, I'm All the Dragon, and I got my butt kicked pretty handily last episode. Um, and it's not that I actually lost the battle, but when an elf dies, they can't be resurrected or raised. Actually, they might be. You might be able to re resurrect them. I can't remember. But anyway, it just wasn't worth uh, trying it. So I'm going to go through the other door, which is not exactly going to be all that much easier. In fact, it might actually be harder, but we'll see. If I'm on the right window. Dragons crouch in a circle about you. And how do they get behind me? Really? They wait to see what you will do. So yeah, you want to do a look, and it lets you uh, look at your items, and you can redistribute them or use. We will use the horn. Island we blows the Horn of Doom, which supposedly uh, decreases their morale. I don't know how much that'll actually... Oh, crap. Dracul Liches. I don't know how much this will actually affect it, but... Yeah. Oh, I do not like Draco Liches. Or lots and lots of dragons all together. Okay, there are some blue ones. Okay, let me go to manual and see where the blue ones are. The so blue ones are actually the ones that I'm most scared of because of the uh, bouncing lightning. And there's a blue one there. Okay. <clears throat> and I know that there's one up here, but I'm not too worried about that because it's a lot easier to get someone uh, hidden from that. Okay. Uh, she can cast... Nothing really useful. So I think I will have her move there. I'll go ahead and cast a fireball. And I want to take out the uh, uh, Blue dragon, so I'm gonna hold that for the uh, delayed blast fireball. Go there, and that wasn't all that useful. But we'll move down here. Okay, she's currently equipped with her staff sling. So let's switch back to sword and shield. there. Um, they're a little bit more clustered than I'd like, but hopefully this will improve the situation a little bit. Uh, um, crap. Okay, uh, let's go fireball again. Okay. Didn't do as much as I'd like. Ouch. No breathing. Let me actually go here. There. And delayed blast. I'll delayed blast fireball up there. Nice crappy uh, fireball there. I like that. Ouch. Ah! Okay. <sighs> Oops. Okay. For some reason, that. Okay. Target that one. 58. Crap. Uh, crap. That's not good. 
bandage. And bandage again. Yeah, I'm not doing a whole lot better in this battle than I was in the last one. Oh, that wasn't all that useful. Thank you. Ooh, crap. Yes. Okay. Good. Ah. Ah. That wasn't all that useful either. What are you doing? Okay. Ow. Ow. Ouch. Crap. I mean, really. This is pretty ridiculous. I do not want to attack my ally. Ow, ow. There we go. Ooh. 25,000 experience points. Okay, uh... Let's uh, run back up and heal. So that's just insane. Yeah, um... That's one of the reasons why I don't like this place. It basically decides that, oh, you guys are all like 30 level, you know, 30th level or so. Um, so we'll just throw tons and tons of things at you that can do massive amounts of damage that you can't really do anything about. Sounds good to me. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of this part of the game in particular. <clears throat> the grand inner palace of Gothmanes. All is impeccably wrought in the finest materials, to the exact design of a mad architect. Darkness pours like fog from the arches to the right. Suddenly, in a flash of light, a figure appears. Elminster! He seems agitated. I have decided to accompany you. Uh, shouldn't that have been ye? Y-E? Hmm. Uh, let's decline. He seems taken aback. As you wish. Shall I return to Limbo, then? No. Figure turns and walks away. Yeah, that wasn't actually Elminster. The dulcet wickedness of Gothmany's voice echoes in your mind. He is close by. The clever little turnips have seen through our little trick. But still, I now recognize the hand of an enemy. The old leech Elminster. If only they had babbled about where he was. Curses! No matter... The world is a big place, but I will surely find him. A serpentine voice answers. But you will be gone a long time. Should you not destroy the heroes first? Laughter. Zoham, you coward. Look, I will wind the tantalus clock. The din of great gears meshing drifts through the arches. When it stops in about an hour, I will return with the old mage. Then together we will cleanse them all in Bane's unfathomable pool. Farewell, Zoham. Don't let the adventurers get you. Is that like an, a, a monster line that monster parents tell their monster kids kind of thing? Go to bed or the adventurers will get you. More laughter cut off by a thunderclap. A ripple Ripples hiss evilly in the dark pool beyond the archers. So, yeah, the Tantalus Clock, I think you want to get there before it goes off. Um, eh. I don't know. I'll leave it for now. Okay. So, yeah, you want to um, make sure that you don't have search on, which I do not. All is filled with exhibits. Marvelous place to hide items. Oh, that's right. Probably don't want to look. Uh, hold on a second. I need to double check to make sure that I uh, um, 
what happens if I don't get to the tantalus clock in time. Okay, I want to do something first. Uh, let's go to a different place that are, where I can get more items. These must be Gothmanese chambers, rich, impressive, and twisted. As you enter, a lavishly adorned beholder turns and sails out the arches to the northwest. That was Zoham, by the way. This chamber alcove is a maze of, maze of hung tapestries. A closer look reveals superb workmanship and sordid themes. You hear footfalls among the curtains. Minions clutching something scurry out of slight, sight. What do you do? Let's torch them! The weavings are instantly ablaze. As you protect yourself, you protect yourself as an inferno roars through the alcove. Whee! Out of the tapestries spring fiery minions. Whee! Okay. Oh, that's quite a few. That is really quite a few. Okay. At least they're all clustered together. Too bad they uh, are mostly fire using creatures. Stay back. Good. Forgot about that. Okay. It's a cone of cold. At least it missed. Yay. It's over there. Sword for her. Cone of cold. How far can I reach? Stay there. Good. 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 All right, that was just weird. Let's cast a magic missile. Good. Uh, those can take damage from our sword. Actually, I should check to see if I have any other... Uh weapons in my uh, inventory that might be useful. There we go. I found treasure. Yay! Let's share out the treasure. Okay, I have no idea what the potion is. Leather armor. Scale nail. And a sling. Okay, negative two. Zero, so that's crap. And that's probably not all that. You don't find the crystal. Okay. The beholder, the beholder taunts you. Your time is nigh, feeble heroes. Yeah, if you say so. Supposedly there's treasure in here. Marvelously crafted garments are displayed here. Search here for the crystal? Yes. You get nothing. As you touch them, they explode. Yes. All devices ever used to imprison someone are displayed, displayed here. Search here for the crystal? Yes. Aha! Weapons! Woohoo! Experience! And apparently money too. 
Alright, what do we get? Um, ooh, darts. Darts are good. Okay, I'll take the uh, two javelins. And Elmond Dreda will take the arrows. Elmond will take the crossbow. I'll give Crow the staff sling. And give Crow the cloak. Let's, uh. Ready. It's already burning cloak. Okay, trip that to Island Lee. And. Cloak isn't doing much. Oh well. I got bolts and I've got a crossbow, so that's useful. Oh. Two handed sword. Let's give that to her. Let's see. 1d8 plus 7. Of course, hands are full. 1d10 plus 10. Much better. Much better. Okay. It's 2 handed sword plus 4. Alright, exquisite art hangs on every wall. Yes, work scroll. Fine, nothing but dust. Okay. All kinds of weapons are displayed here. Get nothing, the priceless object, blah blah blah. What are the most evil things ever devised? Yes, I'll search. I think I might have gotten everything that I can get in here. Spectres block your way. Be gone, vandals! Leave? No. Oh, lord. That's quite a few. Let's see what exactly there is. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with the fireball. I got a few. Damage. And I'll go with another fireball. Oh, I should have turned. Whoops. Oh. Uh, I took out the vampire mage. None of the specters. Oh, I probably should have had a turn. Oh well. Turn the specters. Okay, well, I think I've got a restoration spell, so let me cast. Yes, yeah, so I've got a restoration spell. Alright, well, let me get out of here. Yes. I think I've gotten everything that I can get. I wonder if there's anything on the other side. Let me uh, end the video here. I will uh, pick it up in the next episode, and we will begin the final battles, which will probably take at least two videos, if not more, assuming that I don't get my butt royally trashed by them. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode.